Hi, David O'Dell here. We just arrived on the job site. Uh, we did this driveway right here about six months ago. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna redo it. Got a lot of cracking. We did one across the street as well. Got this crack here. We got another one over here. We also have some other cracks over here. Bunch of cracking right in here. Cracks across here. Then it comes up here. Then of course we had all these little holes starting to come out of the concrete. You can see all these dark spots. Those are holes that just eroded out of the concrete after about the third day. Some kind of foreign material probably in the mix. Also, if you look really closely at the surface of this concrete, let's see if I can get a good close-up of it. Look at all these little cracks everywhere. Now this particular job right here, um, what we did on this one was uh, a different concrete company. And the one across the street was another concrete company that uh, delivered the concrete. This was actually national ready mix. Across the street, we had C-Mix. Let's go take a look at the uh, other job. They're pretty, they're done identically. Road base, four inches deep. I have the fiberglass uh, reinforcement in there. Let's take a look at this job across the street, which is where I'm going now. If you've been watching the videos, you probably recognize some of this. Here we are here. And when you look at this driveway here, there's not a crack in it. And we're directly across the street. There's the other one right there. No cracks in this one at, at all. This was CMEX though. And then across the street we had National, so maybe that has something to do with it. That would be my guess. So in any case, we're gonna be removing this one today. We've got the tractor right here with the breaker attachment. Super 10's gonna be arriving shortly. We're going to blow this thing out. We could even pour it today by 11 a.m., but we'll go ahead and pour it tomorrow morning. This ground is really expansive. Take a look at the city sidewalk here. And let's look at, let's look at the garage floor. So you got the typical cracking in here. Though what's concerning about this more than anything is the holes that appeared and then all these little surface cracks along with, you know, the typical cracking. So we're just going to remove and replace. Anyway, uh, stay tuned and uh, we're going to knock this thing out relatively quick. All right, so we got a saw cut. We're not going to tear out all the concrete that I, I placed on this job. This side yard is kind of an area where you're not going to really see, you know, much. And there's really no um, major cracking in that area. Uh, there is one crack in there, but it's only a four foot long crack because it's a, it's a narrow side yard. So I'm going to saw cut right here on this joint that we put on. Which this joint actually didn't really work that we put in here. It cracked a different direction. As you can see there. And when we started breaking this up right away, I knew how weak this concrete was because it didn't really crack. Like, you know, normally concrete cracks in chunks. This just kind of exploded into dust almost. 
So I knew there was a situation with this car. You see how small the pieces are just crumbling into? And you just barely touch it, it just explodes. So I'm really glad we replaced this thing, to be honest. You can see that fiberglass reinforcement that I put in there. It breaks out relatively easy with that fiberglass rods in there because it's flexible. It doesn't shear in half, but you can actually flex the concrete out, out and around it. But I, uh, I learned something pretty interesting when I was dealing with um, one of the city engineers that I was doing a job for um, on a private residential project that uh, he wasn't going to allow me to use the 3 8 fiberglass rod. And then we had uh, the engineers from Owens Corning, which developed these fiberglass rods, uh, have a meeting with the city engineer on the product and showing the test results versus half-inch steel. Actually, this 3 8 rod is as strong as half-inch steel. So that was a good learning process there. So we were able to use it after all. That's 3M adhesive, spray adhesive. I'm using that to bond my expansion foam. Much easier than driving uh, masonry nails into the concrete as you get, you know, chips out of the concrete. Sometimes the nails don't go in, they fly out and could potentially hit you in the eye. So this is a lot easier, safer, cleaner. The only difference on this particular job, since I'm doing it the second time, and you know, um, you've heard the third time's a charm. Well, I'm hoping that the second time's a charm in this one. That thing, another thing I did differently here is I ran the foam along the block wall, which I didn't have before. Uh, I had foam at the top and bottom, but I went ahead and ran the foam all the way around this time. Also, also instead of joining it while the concrete's still wet, I'm going to go ahead and saw cut the whole thing. That's one other thing I did differently. We are getting the concrete from National again because there's a good possibility they may... Um, they may end up paying for the concrete at least. So I won't lose quite as much money on the deal. We have some weird angles and slopes off of this um, side gate because the side yard is much lower than the garage floor. So we're setting these screed pins to try to hold that shape coming down against the uh, wall and matching those existing elevations. All right, gonna put some fiber in here. I'm gonna do uh, six pounds. Six pounds, I got 10 yards. I prefer the woods. There's a mag, but I like the wood because it kind of grabs it and moves it where you want. Now I need a hanger. Hang this baby from.
rubber gloves. There's a nice pair right here. Special form oil. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? You want some you want some oil on your bowl float or anything? Sure. Oh yeah? How about uh, your boots? Anywhere else? Thank you, Senor. How are you? Good. Remember, we I did this driveway about six months ago, and this one? No. I did both. But this one cracked up. I see. And so I tore it out. Uh oh. I gotta do it again. What is the reason the why that one's cracked? Yeah, I and think not, the, con the other one. Not. The other one not. The concrete's no good, probably. It was a different company. Okay. That that side was that was Cmax. This was National. Mm -hmm. It's the only difference. Looks good, it looks good and stiff. Well, and that looks like about a four and a half, four and a half inch slump. Let's get some fiber in there. What? How's it looking there? Looks like about a four and a half. Let me let me see. I think it's gonna be good. Just yeah. let it mix. Right. Let her mix it up for a few minutes. Alright, so about the slumps. Twelve is if it's a between one and twelve, the slump ratio, the measurement, between one and twelve, and twelve being the wettest. Over a six is pretty much unacceptable. You have to send it back and dry it up, but in this case, we're at about a four and a half. A little harder to lay down, but you end up with a better product. So you notice the bowl float is running perpendicular to our rod, which is optimal, you know, in getting a um, slab level. And if you can run it in both directions, your bowl float, that even makes it better. And you can see how stiff this concrete is. It's it's barely moving. We ran out of concrete. We ended up getting nine yards which it's really it was a 10 yard job but uh, for some reason they only put nine on it but I guess from what I understand is 
and there was a weight limit and there was some uh i guess the uh highway patrols was in the area of that construction area where all the uh, dump trucks concrete trucks were going and they didn't want to be overweight coming out of the plant because they may have had buildup on the fins so if they had 10 plus the buildup in there they would have been an overweight so they were only carrying nine until you know they get clearance in that area Here's the funny trail here. We got two funny trials going simultaneously here. We got one going down the edge, getting the um, radius along that foam along the wall, pulling the plastic down. You gotta come all the way down to my, to my stuff. <laughs> because this driveway's on a slope, we're gonna broom it in this direction for maximum traction coming up the hill. Shit. <clears throat> Are you going to do all this out now? Or you were just walking? Yeah, but I'll do down the lower area. This broom is 50% horsehair, 50% nylon. The beauty of that is the nylon keeps the horsehairs from laying down to the side or bending. You're going with straight Wait. nylon. Mm -hmm. Are you coming back? Mm -hmm. You have to go the boat all the way down. Oh go, yeah, I really like your, that, man. That you looks, can control that's your, your, looking good right you can there. The you can control the so there it is. It turned out real good. The first time we thought it was real good too, though. And then, you know, a few days later, it just started coming apart. But so far, so good. It's already been about two days since we put this one down. Now what we have to do is come back here. And we still have to saw cut this. That was the day of the pour, those views. Now we're at second day, 7 a.m. We're going to put the cuts in. Sometimes you'll come back the next day. And you'll already have cracks. On a, on a larger slab, you probably would have cracks if it was a bigger area. Here's another thing I'm doing differently on this one. I'm putting a lot more cuts in it. 
The last one they're about 10 by 10s and this one I did them six by sixes. You can see how I have two chalk lines there and um, one of the chalk lines was straight with the wall but it turns out the walls not straight with the house because this is a pie shaped lot because we're on a, a radius street so we ended up just squaring off the house Here's my brand new Badoo saw. I just opened the box on this job for that particular saw. The other one on the giveaway in uh, one of the previous videos. Oh, we have to announce the winner. Let me see. The winner for the Madu saw. My old Madu saw. It's about six months old, I would say. Maybe a year. But the winner is ATJ. That's the initials that were on the... Uh, his uh, profile ATJ so he wins the Medusa I've already boxed it and it's ready to go out so I just need to wait for him to contact me in some form or way and then I'm gonna ship it there it is a nice looking driveway and this driveway actually might be a a half inch deeper than the previous because whenever you're doing a removal and you're scooping with a bucket you're bound to take dirt with those scoops so this is going to end up a little bit thicker than the previous and then when you get a new driver like this uh, I recommend sealer for sure and if you don't want it to be a slippery type surface just do a penetrating water base natural look it's a sealer that you can't see it there but what it does is it absorbs into the concrete fills all the um, little uh, voids in the concrete it penetrates it that way when you spill something on there tire marks oil anything like that it's not going to seep into the concrete and you can you know potentially clean your driveway pretty easily anyway thank you for watching have a good day